Um, a driverless car safely travelled 230 miles around the country to complete the UK's longest and most complex autonomous journey. Um, autonomous, big words. What's it mean? What's it mean? No, I know what it means. Um, but it basically, uh, it drove around the country by itself. So imagine if you were driving along the motorway and that went past you. You'd fucking have to double take. But now I bet some other car, that car's made it around safely. Other cars have probably fucking gone down grass verges and into the barriers and everything because they kept to think they're just seeing a headless man drive past them. <laughs> you know what I mean? It'd be like, what? You know, rubberneckers. Rubberneckers are the fucking worst anyway, ain't they? They love, you know, see something and they have to slow down and fucking find out what's going on, nosy bastards. They're like those nosy neighbours. They want to see somebody in peril. They don't stop to help. But, uh, yeah, so there you go. Well, we're, we're halfway there, then, aren't we? If we can have some driverless cars. Because if you start driverless cars and the government's controlling, just put your this, you got to put just where you're going in. That's all you can do. There's a film, that Steven Spielberg film with Jude Law. They had them kind of things in there, didn't they? they had like a, what was it? Um, an Arnold Schwarzenegger film, Total Recall or something. But it's like a fuck, autonomous driver. Autonomous, I've used it again. Driver, he's like a plastic man and uh, he drove the car. Anyway, then it might solve speeding and all that kind of bullshit and middle lane drivers, scum of the earth. It's Rick Astley's birthday today.